our first entrepreneur. I wish you all good luck on this. Have some fun with it. Um, Elaine, and, and I have already butchered names and I'm gonna butcher more and I'm so terribly sorry. I didn't get to go through this before. Elaine Richer is the CEO and founder of My Cure All. She's a highly seasoned pharmacist and healthcare professional um, with, has held leadership roles in three Fortune 500 companies, including Rite Aid, Walgreens, and CVS. She's been a licensed pharmacist for over 20 years. Um, what, what's exciting about her bio is her goal is to decrease opioid overdose, overdoses, decrease deaths from suicides and overdoses, reunite families suffering from drug addiction, and help patients achieve the most effective pain control. My Cure All started in 2019. It's pre-revenue, six employees, $300,000. Welcome, Elaine. Hi, thank you so much, Julie, for this warm introduction. And I uh, want to give a shout out to Brad uh, for putting this together. This has been a really a remarkable uh, webinar. So thank you very much. Great job. So as Julie mentioned, my name is Elaine Richer, and I am the CEO of Mike Ural. I am joined today by my partner and COO, Jacques Nier. Uh, Mike Ural is a healthcare technology company. Our mission is to bring physical, social, and financial relief from the opioid epidemic and accelerate the acceptance of the legal cannabis industry into the mainstream healthcare and insurance system. As experts in the pharmaceutical, social work, and medical cannabis fields, our goal is to properly, consistently, and effectively manage medical cannabis administration by allowing patients, doctors, dispensaries, and insurers to work hand in hand for safer and more effective healthcare. Medical cannabis is being established in the scientific community as the medication of choice, but the current methods of prescribing cannabis is wildly inaccurate. Patients spend time and money using trial and error methods to discover what cannabis strains work best to manage their symptoms. Medical professionals do not know the correct strain and dosage recommended based on patients' qualifying conditions. Medication-assisted treatment, supplementary med medications of, uh, treatment, and harm reduction specialists are unable to recommend optimal dosing and strains. One of the primary reasons we got involved, and only one of many conditions, the opiate epidemic, which during COVID-19 has spiked greatly um, on overdoses and hospitalizations. 400,000 people died from opiate overdoses from 1999 to 2017. Annual deaths from opiate overdoses are projected to reach nearly 82,000 by two 2025. According to the National Institute of Health, NIH, substance abuse costs the country over $600 billion per year. So we quickly realized that we should focus on the platform for all medical cannabis and CBD. The MyCureOl app enables patients, physicians, dispensers, and insurance companies to work hand in hand to achieve a natural solution to plethora of medical conditions. Through our patent pending technology, Scanimeter and Canimeasure, doctors are able to identify and recommend specific strains and CBD products and cannabinoids for qualifying conditions and presenting symptoms. Dispensers are able to manage inventory of various cannabis strains while providing effective care based on cannabis needs, on patients' needs, which is something that we're currently testing in several dispensaries. Insurance companies will save money by reimbursing for medical cannabis versus paying for opioids and associated costs via treatment plans that are empowered to reduce symptoms and increase functioning in society. Patients will be receiving the correct strain and strengths for their medical conditions, allowing for safer and more effective treatment, and allowing patients to actually actively participate in their own wellness through targeted and consistent treatment plans. Our app will regularly check in with patients to track, analyze, and guide treatment. When you talk about patent pending technology, let's show a quick video of how it operates. Elaine, I think you need to show your screen. Uh, it's not showing? No. We're running into the same webinar issue. Okay. So with the can the can meter, which is actually the client enters into the uh, program, there's a baseline for that in which a, a client ingests their medicinal cannabis. It is registered based on three qual or three um, conditions related towards the qualifying condition. 
that baseline also takes into their cannabinoid profile. So CBD and THC are being registered right now. In the, in the future, in the back end, we have all the terpenes and cannabinoid properties there. After they ingest their, their medicinal cannabis, we take another um, examination of how those particular symptoms were affected by that cannabis. We make a measure. Anything greater than 15 is registered as a positive effect for that client and is re recorded. It also has an objective version of that. Now, going to the cannometer, which is more the recommender, both the dispensaries and the doctors are able to use the profile that a client feels a positive result with THC, CBD, or strain, and is allowed to find other recommendations based on that particular qualifying condition. Okay, so U.S. legal cannabis. One minute, Elaine. Oh, wow. U.S. legal cannabis sales are set to more than quintuple to $41 billion by 2025. The global CBD market was valued at $3 billion in 2018 and is expected to reach $22 billion by 2026. So our company received state clearance from Department of Health and Department of Insurance to operate in four states currently, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Florida. In just four states, we're looking at the market size of 23 million people. Currently, 33 states, Washington, D.C., and several territories offer medical cannabis as a legal treatment option. Our revenue is based on subscription model and targeted medical marketing. Our calculations for the five-year projections provided that only 33 states remain medical cannabis legal and that we capture only 10% of the market. Uh, however, based on the political and medical and economic projections, cannabis will be medically legal in every state in the nation, nation uh, within the next few years. So projected revenue from our CBD arm of the business is expected to reach EBITDA close to $12 million by 2022. We do have competition in place, uh, Leafly, Relief, Strain Print. Uh, you can take a look as far as the expense and the features that we are offering. Uh, so our uh, competitive advantage lays in the standardized set of protocols, in the streamlining of the recommendation process, in the creation of the insurance claim and the self and recommender assessments tools, which will help both physician and the patient assess their situation. Use of funds, uh, we are currently trying to raise $2 million for capital raise, 750 will be going to marketing and sales, 500 to software development, and 750,000 will be going towards operations. Our exit strategy in incorporates acquisition, financial buyers, investors, and IPO. You can see a list of those features right there. As we're running out of time, I want to make sure we get through this. Um, and I do want to give a shout out and recommend our, our management team, which we are proud to have a diverse and multidisciplinary team that is well, well versed in the cannabis industry and great entrepreneurship. Okay, thank you. I'm going to, I'm going to jump in right now. We've got time for one quick question. Do any of our judges want to jump in on here? I'm happy to jump in. Okay. Um, question on the, the use of proceeds or sales and marketing. I was just wondering if you could give it a little bit more detail. Um, when I look at your, your deck and your solution page with patients, physicians, insurance companies, dispensaries, who would, who would you be marketing first? You know, how ultimately do you, do you get this to catch on along all of these different types of uh, companies and patients? So as far as advertising and marketing, we want to trigger with the doctors and we want to uh, trigger with the prescribers. We want to make sure the clients know the services out there, as well as the insurance companies. We want to make sure that we're also hitting, that we're getting to the dispensaries and that we're making sure that they see there's an alternative system that can help them with their inventory, that can help them understand the client's health, as well as being able to triage qualifying conditions and reducing the client's symptoms. And the marketing will be, uh, a lot of the marketing will be centered on the dispensary because the dispensary is kind of the hardest sell for us at this point. We have uh, several hundred patients enrolled in the app, uh, as well as physicians. Uh, we're working only with uh, three dispensaries right now. So that's what we need to, to get more. And again, we're testing, but that's what we're planning on uh, expanding the most is going to the dispensaries. Okay. Thank you both very much. That, that went by very quickly. I'm sure we all have a lot more questions for you. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm determined to keep us on a schedule today. We'll see how well that goes. Well, thank um, you very much. Thank, thank you. you very much for the opportunity.